Hi, in this video we will look at the details of the layer menu. To do our shaping, let's add sphere from the scene menu. Validate and subdivide. Open layer menu. Add layer. Green light next to the layer menu and the selected object indicates that it is recording. You can delete and duplicate the layer. The most important issue when recording is that sculpting and painting should be on a separate layer. Let's start with painting and I rename the layer as color. Select stroke paint and paint tool. Be sure to select the layer. Select the color and paint. Let's open the layer menu and check the recording we made. Yes, it is recorded. Let's close the view and choose another color. Paint the sphere. I want to show here that note that painting is done even if view is closed. Let's open a new layer and paint the sphere all. Let's choose white clay to see the paint better and paint it blue. As you can see, the red color we painted before has disappeared. In fact, it didn't disappear. When the visibility is reduced, we can see it under it. What should we do? Hold the blue color layer and move it to the bottom under the red color layer. As you can see, our red paint has appeared. Separate layers, separate recordings. Select three dot and in the opening menu, tap to color mask, select mask tool, tap to screen to invert and paint the mask to an another color. Clear the mask. And this way you can change the color from the layer. With this option, the layer merges with the layer below. And now what we're going to do is merge to separate layers. Now two color in same layer. Add a new layer and rename as Sculpt. Sculpt and Paint must be in separate layer. Select Inflate tool and Sculpt. Let's turn off the view and Sculpt as I showed earlier. The new Sculpt we have drawn disappears immediately. You would think that it does not save, whereas the drawings are saved even though they are not visible. So on which layer are you recording? Is it visible? It is necessary to pay attention to them. Change the matte cap and open a new layer for Sculpt. Select three dot and tap to offset mask. Select mask tool and tap screen to invert and then change the shape with gizmo. Clear the mask from mask settings. Give the shape you want by reducing and increasing with offset settings. Increase. Decrease. As you see, you can change your Sculpt from here. Now I'm going to talk about something we shouldn't do. Both Sculpt and Painting are in the same menu. You should not do this. Because it will record both. If we give up on one, it means giving up on both. It is also bad for the object we sculpt to decrease the progress of the layer and make another shape on it. Because the value has to be 1. You can see how bad it is when we bring the value to 1. Increase to 1. As you can see, the topology has changed in the actual recording. Let's choose PBR mode from the shading menu. Open stroke painting and paint with metalness. From the layer settings, you can change metalness and roughness from here. Finally, open to sphere, add layer for sphere and write sphere with the layer menu. Add layer for sphere 1, write sphere with layer sub. Increase the offset and extract with layer option, without shell. Move with gizmo and turn to back side. With this selection, the layer difference is extracted. This time extract with shell. With this selection, close the extracted shape. How will be the raised on this sphere extract look? Increase the offset. Choose shell option. Give higher value to shell thickness and extract. Give lower shell thickness value and extract. What we see with this option is that the shape is thick or thin according to shell thickness. Let's choose fill option and tap to extract. Here, there is a filling process below the text, not above it. Add box and sculpt with layer tool. In the setting menu it says, don't use in flat surfaces, let we try. There is no difference for a flat sculpt. Let we try this. Again, as we did in Sphere, the bottom part turned out to be closed. There was no difference here. According to what they wrote, maybe it is effective in different sculpts. Choose None and Extract. This was like the first option we did with the Layer option. 
we can paint the extracted object with the new layer we will add to that object. Add new sphere and layer. Use inflate tool sub and sculpt a mouth. Shape with drag tool. Make smiley with drag tool. Let's hollow it out with the inflate tool and smooth. Add a new layer. Let's drag it down with the drag tool and make it a little more hollow with the inflate tool. We made separate sculpt on two separate layers. Add sphere and shape as a tooth. After shaping the tooth, let's place the tooth in the middle of the mouth. Pull it up a bit because the tooth will come out after smiling. Merge the two layers. Yes, the tooth is coming out with smiling. Add sphere for the eyes, validate, subdivide, clone for the other eye, and replace to its place. While mouth is not smiling, let's draw an eye cavity under the eyes. Now open the white clay and from stroke paint choose black color. Select lock intensity from stroke settings. Select the alpha and paint the eye colors. In the shading menu choose PBR mode. Set the environment settings and add light and paint. You can animate the progress of this shape's smile by exporting it as a PNG one by one and starting it with a program like CapCut. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more, please check out my other videos.